Hey, what's up, everyone? I figured I'd get a chance to uh, review the movie The High Note. Uh, what's interesting about The High Note, uh, initially the movie was supposed to get a theatrical release in, in May, but because of the COVID pandemic, it went straight to digital. And of course, as many people, I guess, already know, the film stars Tracy Ellis Ross, the, the daughter of um, Diana Ross, who plays an R&B singer by the name of uh, Grace Davis, who... You know, it's had, like, a successful, like, touring career, you know, doing, like, old throwbacks and stuff, but hasn't had, like, a, like a, a new material in, like, over a decade or so. And then, of course, the story also deals with Dakota Johnson's character, uh, Maggie, uh, you know, who who's, like, her personal assistant and wants to, who has this dream of being a music producer and, you know, throws Grace her ideas to kind of, kind of remix his Grace material to make it. Uh, I guess fresh for like a younger audience, but also I guess giving her like some kind of encouragement to make like um, you know new material and you know things like that. And then what's interesting about the movie, you know, besides the acting, is the great characters. You know, the the music. You know, particularly you know Ice Cube who plays uh, Grace's um, you know manager Jack, and then of course you know you get to discover more about. You know Grace's character and things like that, which I thought was pretty cool and uh, fun to watch. So I was, I would say, I was surprised when seeing it because I, like, I wasn't sure how if it was gonna be good or bad. But surprisingly, it held my interest, and it was, like I said, a lot better than I anticipated. And I guess for those that I guess like like things in the musical genre, this would definitely be uh, something. I would, you know, recommend that <laughs> because it, I guess like the old saying goes, it's never too late uh, for a comeback, I suppose, if that's uh, one particular way of looking at this particular film when examining it, examining it. So that's my thoughts about this particular movie. Anyone who's seen it, it would be interesting to uh, leave some feedback and comments. I'd like to hear what people think about it. And I look forward to my next review to share with other people. All right, everyone. Thanks again.